Hey guys, Zarak here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video, and we're going to be continuing on with the Inform 7 tutorial. This is going to be episode 7. Uh, it's probably going to split into two parts, episode 7 and episode 8, which will be next week, which is going to be some small little things. Uh, like I said, I'm coming to the end of this tutorial here, and I think there's really too much else that I know that I can pass on to you guys, um, because I didn't exactly do the most in the world. Uh, so there's still things that you probably want to know and I probably want to know that we probably don't know. And as I said in previous videos, documentation, which you can see on the right here, and also in fiction is the places to go for those um, said things that I might not cover in these episodes. So we're going to be going over a lot of little things in this. Um, like I said, it's probably going to be two parts because I think I have like 12, 13 different little things that we need um, or you might need during the game. Um, of what you create during the interactive fiction uh, that can help you and the reader along the way or the player should I say not the reader in this so um, I'm obviously using my um, my beast within code as my example here um, you can't see it it is on uh, my other screen as you can see I've got it here uh, I've got it on my other screen so I can see the code so I can put it in properly and not make any errors so one thing that we're going to be starting to do is we're going to be looking at the um, banner, the uh, status line, whatever you want to call it. Now I'll just say if you uh, don't hear the sound that we put in last time, that's because I've muted the sound on the um, OBS. Um, I've got it playing, but on OBS we haven't. So if I hit go right now, um, uh, I accidentally typed a slash in sometime don't know why um, so I hit go right now and wait for it to load up you can see here we've got bedroom this here is the status bar um, and you can do a lot of things with the status bar I mean I don't know too much I only know very very basic you can use different um, extensions to make it look different like for example basic screen effects you can make it look different I think uh, there's probably going to be loads and loads of other ways that you can make it look different but for right now we're going to be using the basic here just the basic black banner bar thing whatever you want to call it and we're going to be putting in the time now there's several different ways you can do this obviously if you have different times um, that might go to different months that's the thing I had you might want it a bit different but let's just go for something basic right now so we want to put it behind this when play begins uh, just because then it was already there. Now you could change the time at any point, as I will show you. It also automatically increases the time as you play. So the longer you play, the longer the time it has. I don't know whether it's in concurrent with the amount of time you've actually spent playing the game, or whether it's um, like judges somehow like turn-based thing. Uh, like I think in every Dungeons and Dragons turn, it's six seconds. It might be something like that. So, anyway, so as you can see, we've got when play begins. Hello, this is YouTube Money Games. I don't know why I put that. Why did I put that? I have no idea. Anyway, what we're going to do is we've got after this summary colon, uh, we're going to put now, um, I've got to find it now. Now the left hand status line is time uh, colon square bracket time of day square bracket square bracket I oh know that that we don't need because I that's a different variable um, so you've got time of day um, which is no problem and then you can have um, let's just have I don't know let's have the date here so let's have uh, second um, and I'm trying to think <laughs> Jul July is it July <laughs> my uh, clock yeah, it's July. My um, eternal clock has gone since I've left uh, college. All right. So let's have that, and then let's semicolon on that. Now, at the moment, that should probably come up as an error. Yep, because uh, one, one because I spell it wrong. That's always great. Uh, it still should come up as an error. It doesn't actually come up as an error. It just says it is 9 a.m. That's really weird. That's why it says it to 9 a.m. Because I haven't actually put a time of day yet. Um, that's one thing I actually forgot to do. So what we'll do is we'll put that in first. So now the time of day is um, seven. 
I know, 7, 5, 12 p.m. Uh, let me see how it's written. It's written with a colon in the middle. And then again, semicolon. Always make sure that the semicolon uh, is afterwards, otherwise it will try and read things wrong. I also can't type today for some reason. Okay, so for some reason it can't read that. Why could it not read that? What have I done wrong? I've put it together. That's what I've done. I've got the code next to me and I'm still messing up the code. That's hilarious. Anyway, so we repeat it here. And as you can see, time 5.12pm, 2nd of July. Now, you can put things on the right-hand status line. But for some reason it wasn't doing it properly for me last uh, when I was doing the piece within. Uh, the way you just done now the left hand, just put now the right hand. And yeah, you could do loads of different things with this. Um, so knock yourself out. But that just changes this little bar here. Like I said, there's some extensions. I think uh, Basic Screen Effects by Emily Short does uh, change things with that code. So go and knock yourself out. So that's the first thing. Uh, now the second thing. And the second thing is something that I only know half of what it actually does, in a sense. Um... And it's quite kind of weird. I don't really know why you might need it sometimes. Uh, I don't know why the program. It, it said something in the documentation, but then it didn't really do anything. So it was weird. And that is chapters and scenes. Now, uh, we can have this as chapter one. Um, hello. And when we hit go, it will come up the exact same as what I've done before. No difference. Because that is for us to find out. Now, if there was an error here, if I had a chapter 1 and chapter 2, it should theoretically say, so let's have um, chapter 2, um, goodbye, and have, um, I don't know, a hallway is a, is a room, uh, the Actually, let's let's spell this wrong. So let's have a description. So no uh, T in there. Of hallway is a cluttered hallway. Now, theoretically, that should say I think that in chapter two goodbye. Yep, in chapter two goodbye. There's your problem. That's one good thing about it. If you do that, then it will always split into chapters, so you don't have to think, oh, is this chapter 1, is this chapter 2? Um, alternatively, something I think I forgot to say, which is really, really bad of me, is when you have the problems here, you can see there is this button here. Now, this button here will then go to the line and highlight it. Sometimes it's a bit weird. I think of it in tables. Um, it will highlight random lines that isn't actually the issue it'll like go to the start or the end of the code of what it can't read so it doesn't matter whether the error is in the middle or not it will just go to the start or the finish of it don't know why but it does so that is a quite nice button as you can see it just highlights that red so now let's change that to a T uh, Files are well spot right this time. Uh, so as you can see, it is now working. So that's chapters. Um, something you can do if you do want to have it so your um, player can see what chapters you are playing, like I have in the Beast Within, is you can have it in when play begins or when chapter begins or when scene begins, as we'll get into in a second. So uh, when play begins, we've got this. Um, what we can say, what we can do is instead of having that, we can have um, line break. And before the line break, uh, I think it's line break, or, yeah, line break. All right, before the line break, we can have chapter. Oh, wait, actually, no, well, let's make it bold. So let's have a bold type chapter one hello. And then. The line break should theoretically then allow us. Uh, okay, so it's a bit different. Uh, it's a bit weird. Let's have that. And let's have. Can you have two? I actually don't know if you can have two line breaks. Actually, no, I think I'll, I think I want paragraph. Can I have paragraph break? I've actually been stupid because I think I've used paragraph break in uh, my work. 
Okay, so that's shared theoretically. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so obviously that's a bit, uh, that's gaps there because I put it next to it, so. There you go, so chapter one, hello. Hello, this is Money Games and whatnot. If you want to obviously have that separate as well, you can have another paragraph break here. Like so. And that'll mean there is gaps between all of this. So that's pretty nice. Now this is obviously automatically paragraph broke already. That's something you can't control. That's just saying what you can see. So that's again something very nice to do in the when play begins. Now similarly, um, obviously you've got when play begins, which is great, but play only begins once. So what if you want to have a text like this when it goes to the next chapter, for example? Uh, so what we could do is we can have a scene, and we can have um, let's just call this um, goodbye. Is a scene. Goodbye begins when um, the player enters the hallway. I think that will work. I hope that will work. And then when goodbye begins and then again say uh, bold type chapter to goodbye paragraph break lol Parag paragraph break right and that and that. Spell break right and that will work. And have hallway as a room. Uh, hallway is south of kitchen. If we run, I don't think I've done anything wrong. Okay, apparently I have. Okay, is, do I not need a, the description bit? I don't think I do, do I? Oh wait, no, I know what the error was. The error was I didn't have a full stop there. That's what the error was. Okay, so... Must be fired by condition. Okay, so these are things that are quite confusing. I actually get confused, as you can see. I'm not exactly the pro at this. I try to remember how do I how did I end? Okay, so I ended it by a um by a variable. So I had a variable. So let's have a. Uh, v goodbye is a variable v goodbye uh, is false um, and then let's have after um, entering is that entering or going? I think it's going after going to hallway for the first time, I think that works. Um, now the goodbye is true. Um, goodbye is a scene. Goodbye uh, begins when the goodbye is true. Let's see whether that works. No, it doesn't. Uh, oh, that's because I didn't put the colon there. Oh, I put variable. Why do I put variable? I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. True statement varies. There we go. Sometimes you do get a bit confused around with the code. Right, so it the code seems to be um, at least viable. So let's go uh, south. Let's unlock the door with key. I always forget I have that door now. Uh, I have the sound, you guys don't. And there you go. Chapter 2, goodbye. Lol. Now one thing we did do is have uh, continue the action. 
and also um, stop the sound of dead pulse. That needs to be before we continue the action. And that needs to not be indented, like so. Obviously you guys couldn't hear that, but for me I could. So you see we're in the hallway, we're in chapter 2, and lol. Simple. So that is chapters and scenes for you guys. How long has this video been? Holy crap, 15 minutes. Alright, well, we'll do the last uh, two things for this um, episode. Now I'll try and get the, rid uh, try and get the rest done in the next episode. Um, so the two things that we're going to do real quick, because they are very quick anyway is we are going to do interpreters and no scoring. Now for the Beast Within, uh, there was no scoring mechanism. Now I don't actually know how the scoring mechanism works in Inform 7, but there is a scoring mechanism that automatically works. So the way to simple, uh, simply get rid of that um, is to simply just say use no scoring. Very, very simple. Sorted. And then also another thing that you might want to know, and this is the interpreter bit, is interpreters can come in many many forms um, but the two uh, well, the one type of interpreter you might want to know is a browser one now this means that anyone can play the game at any point with a browser uh, it doesn't have to be any browser it can be uh, Index Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari uh, Waterfox, try to think of other obscure Opera I think is another um, browser so it can be any browser uh, the only thing is they will not have sound so if you do put sound in your game they will not have sound they have to install a program to be able to play sound uh, which is a very quick program and I will probably do that in another episode when we're speaking about releasing uh, so this is almost getting into release so to speak so what you want to do is you want to have release along with the quicks interpreter now one thing you want to be careful with with this is that quicks is um, something that is only able to be used if in settings here you use glux now if you don't use glux if you use a z code uh, you'll have to use a different one uh, I can't think of what it's called right now I had it originally and I went to quicks um, but with Z code, um, you cannot use um, sound or images. So you have to make sure that you, if you have that, you need Glux. If not, Z code. You can switch uh, to either or at any point. Uh, it's just the way it compiles the code and releases the game. That's all there is to it. So that is it for this episode guys like I said this is very very small things uh, if I count how many more we have to go we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten more to go and I can probably nail about five six of them in about five minutes so the other four should be really really quick so anyway guys this was like if you guys did enjoy leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new and join my content I really hope these tutorials are helping you guys I know someone that, that um, asked me for help and I gave it to them and whatnot, so shout out to you, you know who you are. Uh, the only reason I'm saying your name, actually, I could probably find your name. I always forget names. Uh, Kelsey, so shout out to you, Kelsey. Um, hope that you are enjoying your coding. So, anyway, guys, this was Ark. Peace out.